gosh, Tom. So, as you can see, we've managed to catch up with this leopard. So we have Shadow that's busy walking through here. It's not Karula like we hoped it would be, but still, it's nice to see Shadow. I wonder where she's off to. She's going probably into a horrible area. It really is very, very dense and very thick in here. So we're gonna try to keep up with her, but it seems like she's marching her way straight back into Simamili Arethusa, that area. And like I say, going straight through the thickest bush possible, which is very typical of Shadow. But nice to see her. She's looking healthy and well. I don't think there's any sign of the little ones this morning. There was no tracks for the little ones. So it is, looks like just her. And she was trying to hunt some impala apparently when the guys found her, which is great that she was looking for food. It means that maybe she'll slow down for us a little bit. Isn't she beautiful? Look, there we go, she stopped. Really pretty leopard. Like I say, she's looking very, very healthy. She could do with a meal, but otherwise looking good. You can see the little white tip of the tail wagging. Very, very pretty girl. Now let's see where she's going to go from here. I'm sure she's going to go straight west again. That's where she's been hanging around mostly in the last few weeks. So I'm sure that's where she's heading. But there might be some sort of prey items. Just careful your head there. Ferg. So there might be some diker or steenbok that will be hanging around in here, which would be the perfect prey items for Shadow. That's what she would like to go after. So hopefully she's going to come across something and start to stalk, because that'll mean that we'll then be able to spend a lot more time with her. If she keeps walking the way she's going to walk now, she's going to be onto Triple M in the next two minutes, and then she's going to be crossing out of our area and where we can't follow her, which will be sad. And unfortunately, it's typical Shadow, though, the way that she does do this. I'm just trying to get out onto the road in front here because she's right here. So, here we go. And we go onto Triple M as is normal with Shadow. And from here. Oh, is that another leopard in the distance? There was a hyena. And there we go. Now, hopefully, she's going to walk straight down. Now, it looked like there was an, maybe another leopard or a hyena that just crossed south of us here. I couldn't see nicely what it was. It just disappeared into the grass. So, I'm going to try and see when we go forward here if maybe we'll be able to see it. Now, she's going to do a bit of scent marking. So, Miss Sky, you wondering when her cubs were last seen? Um, just trying to think now when exactly they were last seen. They were seen about three weeks ago, I think, and around the same time Karula was last seen, actually. But there has been tracks since then. Look at her, up on her back legs, busy scent marking and sniffing. Isn't that cool? And there's that flimmin' grimace, so she's busy pulling in the scent that she's picked up into the roof of her mouth to be able to analyze that scent. Amazing. And a little shake. Um, so about three weeks ago was the last time she was seen, but tracks of the cubs with her, I had them last week. So the cub, one cub is all I had in terms of the tracks. So hopefully she's going to be marching her way towards wherever she's keeping the cubs at the moment. I'm just giving her a bit of space because I don't want to drive right behind her and then she crosses into Sumambili because we won't be able to follow her there. So I'm hoping that she's going to keep going southwards towards Arethusa side. It looks like she's still got a bit of milk in that tummy, so that's good news. It means that she is producing milk, which is great. Just got to update the guys on the other channel, because otherwise they aren't going to know that she's here. And she's such an elusive leopard at times that it's difficult. Is there any station in the west that copies? Any station can copy me is uh, Shadow is mobile south on Triple M North. She's just gone south of the junk, uh, old cut line for Simomili Arethusa going towards the new cut line. And there she goes, straight down the same road she always takes. So she loves to take this road here. And off she goes. 
going to roll forward because there's a vehicle behind us so that they can also have a little look. And isn't that beautiful? See if she's going to stop there now. Look at her tail. The tails are so expressive on leopards. That's what, when they see something and they stop, and you find the tail starts to twitch a little bit. It's something that they've noticed. Absolutely incredible. So, John B., you're wondering what shadows identifying marks are. John B., I honestly cannot tell you. I just know her from seeing her so often that I've just, her face is recognizable for me. I don't know, it's a light nose. She's got that very pink nose, which is unusual for an adult. And then just her sort of very round, small face. And I don't know, when I see her, it's very difficult not to know anybody else. It's the same with Tundi. It's just you see them instantly and you know. I'm sure some of the viewers will be able to help us. So for the viewers out there that do know their identifying or distinguishing features, you can send them through to hashtag Safari Live and we'll be able to discuss them since Shadow has now disappeared. And I don't think we're going to be able to follow her where she's going to go now. So I will try and probably head back towards the cut line of Arethusa and Simobili and see if maybe she pops out there and we can then follow her along. We have indeed. So luckily for us, she turned south and she's come onto Arethusa which means that we can follow her and see where she goes. Now, I'm hoping that she's going to lead us towards her little one. Wouldn't that be incredible to see the little one again? And then in the sky, you would be able to see her and we'd be able to then see if they're safe. Now, that's what I'm hoping for. Although she seems to be getting sidetracked with everything and she keeps stopping and looking into the distance and you know, tail twitching. So I think she's looking for food more than anything else. But I would imagine that her cub is somewhere in this area. This is the area that she's been spending so much time recently and her tracks are up and down all over this part of the world. So I'm wondering if this is not where the cubs could roughly be. And while she's on her way back towards them, she's going to watch and see if there's any sign of anything. Now I wonder if there's maybe something in front of her here that she's seen. I'm going to just pull up slowly and just see if maybe there is an impala or something in the bush ahead of her that she can see without disturbing her. I don't want to disturb her in any way. What can you see, girl? Oh, I honestly can't see what she can see. But maybe there's a little drainage line just down from us where we are now. And this would be a great place for things like a diker to spend time or Nyala, Bushbuck. They would all occupy that terrain. So maybe that's what she's seen. You can see the tail is twitching a lot and she looks very interested in whatever it is that she may have found. Look at how alert her ears are. Focused forward, trying to pick up any sound that could be coming from that area, staring into that drainage line. And I reckon it's if it's my hair to sort of hedge my bet, I'm gonna go with the diker. That's what it is that she's spotted. But I'm not sure. I can't say a hundred percent, but I think that's what it is. Isn't that beautiful? This little white tail wagging out of the shadows. Very, very pretty. Now, I suppose we're working our way through the lineage to get back towards where Karula is. So hopefully this will be all good signs that Karula will show up soon. We've had Shadow, we've had Shongile. So hopefully now the next one will be Karula. I did have tracks for a female leopard coming east from that large torchwood which could be shadow she does walk in that area but i did have them and i'm not 100 percent sure who it could be so i might go back into that area this afternoon and try and just check where they go if they turn back towards where we found shadow then we know that those are for her but it could be that maybe karuda is also around as well it was for an adult female so it's encouraging but look at her ears her ears are starting to get a little bit tatty now she's starting to show her age couple nicks and cuts out of those ears these days. And it's been a hard life for Shadow. She's had a tough time of it. She's had lots of issues with her cubs. She's really struggled to raise litters of cubs. So lots of sort of fighting with male leopards to protect them and hyenas and lions. And so she's had a really tough time of it. But she's still soldiering on and still trying 
I really, really hope that this cub is still alive and that she manages and that she's able to raise this cub to maturity and we actually see a mature cub coming out. Look at her, look at her leopard crawling. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? So Miss Sky, you were saying that she's a three four spot pattern. And look at how she's trying to get into the grass so that she can hide. So she's got those collarbones that are different to other animals in that they're almost a floating collarbone. And it allows her to duck very low and be able to basically effectively leopard crawl her way along. Now, we're really going to struggle to keep up with her in here. It's not friendly at all. And it's not a place that we're going to be able to really follow very easily. But we shall try and persevere and see what we can do. Well, I've already lost her, to be honest. Um, let's see, I don't think she would have gone far. She's going to use all this brush to her advantage. So instead of being in a situation where she's out on the road and very exposed, she's going to get into thicket like this, where she can then hide and be able to stalk up close to whatever she's hunting. Now I'm trying to scan for her. It's amazing how quickly this cat disappears. I don't know what she does. It's almost like she runs and dives into thickets. But this is, would be another time that she's given up. Indeed. Do you see any sign of her, Ferg? Hmm. So I believe all of you are very excited that you've managed to see Shadow and so am I. I really always love spending time with her except that she's so difficult to keep up with. I don't know where she's gone now. And it wasn't like we were very long behind her. The problem is in this grass they just disappear. It's so difficult to actually see anything in this grass. No, I lost her completely but I don't think she could have come this far already unless she's really striding. I just want to go back and check. There's a little thicket here that's got long grass that looks very leopard-like and where it would be a good place for her to have spent time. So let's just try and check that area again. So Billy, you're wondering if leopards are spotted um, under their fur, so on their skin itself. Um, no, they're not. It's just the fur it's, that is spotted. The skin itself is a uniform coloration and pattern, much like ours is. Well, I don't know about lost and confused, but I'm certainly having struggles with reversing today. But luckily we did find Shadow again. She was trying to hunt some kudu. She was being very ambitious because it was a big male kudu. It wasn't even a female kudu. So there was no way she was going to get that right. But that didn't work and then she came back onto the road for us. And now we're just slowly edging down the road with her. And she's on her little territorial patrol and she's walking straight towards us, which is absolutely fantastic. It's what I was hoping for. It's so much nicer to see her face than her backside not that she doesn't have a nice tail but her face is much better to look at now miss sky you were saying earlier and iding features the three two spot pattern above her whiskers so there we go that's how we can recognize her other than just the way that she looks the three two spot pattern over her whiskers now she's still moving straight towards us which is great White Lady Owen, you're wondering how old is Shadow? Well, Shadow should be now about, I would say, she must be just about nine years old. No, maybe a little bit older, 10 by now. Um, because Krula had her when she was just over two and a half years old. And Krula is now 13, so yeah, 10 and a half. That's about how old Shadow is now. So she's also getting. older side of her life. She's still in her prime, but generally female leopards, once they reach about 12, they start then moving down. Well, now she's going to the loo. Isn't that beautiful amongst the green grasses that are growing on either side of the road? Really, really pretty. 
it's a nice thing about when we've had summer and you get all these long grasses and especially now because the grasses are starting to go a bit white in it really is quite pretty when there's these leopards moving through it you can see she's just still coming down i wonder where she's going normally from here her route would be towards red dam that's where she likes to spend a lot of time so she's going in that way Sorry, my girl, let me get out your way. So the road is going to do a big S bend now. So sometimes she cuts off here, there we go. And she'll go across, there's a little small drainage line that she goes across to, there's some mud wallows, and then from there she'll do a diagonal straight to Red Dam. So that's where we're going to go now. Now it is very difficult to get across this little riverbed, so what I'm gonna try to do is I will try to stay with her as long as possible on this side, and then we might have to just jump around and see if we can find her on the other side.